Good morning, afternoon, or evening. Let's get moving today. We're gonna focus on a lot of stationary stretches today. It might be a nice change up for you, maybe something you're a little bit more comfortable or familiar with compared to our other work. Let's get going. We're gonna start today focusing on squats and let's just see what you can do, okay? So feet wider than your hips, big tall chest. I want you to sit down, make yourself, what you make yourself, make yourself uh, right back up. Something that is doable for you, okay? No pain in the knees or minimal, uh, something comfortable. You can use a door frame to slide your hands down if you need to walk yourself down. And now I want you to sit, okay? What is it like? This is a super basic and important human, human position to be able to uh, display. What's yours like? Good, medium, bad? I want to know because we want to see this improve a little bit after today's session. Come out however you need to. I'm going to take a seat on the floor. We're going to get going into a 90-90 position. You're going to see this a lot with me. So bring your left leg in front of your body, bent at 90 degrees at your knee. Your shin's going to come out to the side. Your back leg will look the same. Okay? Forward legs here. Back leg straight out from the hip, bent at 90 degrees at the knee. Looks like so. Okay? Now we're going to do a forward stretch over the forward leg. Bring your chest forwards horizontally, don't let it drop, okay? And I want you to scooch the floor backwards with this hip. And you're gonna to start to feel a little stretch in your butt cheek, okay? Reaching chest forward, pushing the floor backwards with your butt cheek. Hands can go wherever you need for help. If this is very difficult for you, you're gonna collapse one or both knees and that will alleviate the tension on your hips if you need to. But if you can, knees are here. We're breathing and enjoying the stretch for about 30 more seconds, okay? The body will not adjust to new ranges of motion unless we spend time hanging out there. So when we do static stretches, we want to spend some time, cool? Again, chest reaching forwards. Try not to allow your knee to come off the floor too, too much if you have excessive popping, okay? Again, just close that knee angle. It'll make it more appropriate. Few more seconds, see if you can push that floor back a little bit more. See if you can push, push, push. See if you can push your chest a little bit more horizontally. Okay, start to unwind out of that. Keep your base where it is, whether legs are bent or in the 90-90 position. I want you to turn your chest towards your back knee, okay? And see if you can place this hand behind the body, okay? Nice. And so what we're doing here is we're transferring that load from underneath the forward leg to somewhere through here in the rear leg, okay? What we usually call the trail leg in your 90-90. I want you to breathe. If you turn your chest away from the trail leg, you will decrease the stretch. If you turn it towards it, you'll get a bigger stretch. Turn it past it, greater yet, okay? The knees are down. They're flat on the floor. Ankles are flat as best you can. And again, last time I'll say it, this is a lot gentler, okay? You could also prop your knees on something if you are very inflexible, okay? You could prop your knees on a pillow, that will help you as well. Just give you a little bit more turning, chest towards the back hip, feeling that stretch through there. Doesn't need to be intense, but we want a good moderate stretch. Three, two, one, cool. I'm gonna do a little bit of a fancy flip here. You guys might need to sit on your butt and kind of do a swivel so that you can still see the, uh, the video but I'm just gonna do a little rotation, okay? I'm in my mirrored side, 90-90. I can make a little adjustment if I need to. And now over this leg, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna reach my chest horizontally forwards. I'm gonna push the floor backwards with my forward hit. Try and get that stretching feeling in my glute and my butt cheek, okay? Slide the floor back as you, at the same time, reach your chest forwards. Nice. If you want a little bit more out of this, you can think about trying to drive your forward shin, press it down through the floor while you reach your chest forwards. That can give you a little bit more, okay? Breathe, got about 20, 30 more seconds here. Think of a really nice tall chest, big head, big head, tall head. Breathing, of course, as you're hearing me exaggerate a little bit. 
Good, okay, unwind out of that, take a few moments. You're gonna to start to turn chest towards your back knee. You're gonna to start to drop that hand somewhere you can behind you, bend your knees if you need to. And about 30, 45 seconds here now, stretching this back leg, we call this an internal rotation stretch of your hip, okay? Good, breathe here a little bit more time. A lot of us know the very standard leg stretches, right? How to stretch our quads, hamstrings. These are two nice different variations for a lot of you um, that are really different change on how to stretch the hips. So put these in your toolbox for later. One more deep breath. Turn a little bit more if you so wish. Okay, good. Slow, slowly come on out. We're gonna go into butterfly next, okay? Some of yours favorite movement maybe. Maybe some of you, it's your like biggest nightmare. I got my feet together. I'm gonna pull the feet forwards, or sorry, backwards to me a little bit. And I'm just gonna kind of hang out here for a few seconds, acclimatize. That should be something accessible and not too, too abrasive. And then when you're ready, whether you're up here, okay, moderate, if you're a little lower, I want you to get the elbows on top of your legs and just getting a passive stretch, driving the knees towards the floor making contact if that's doable for you. Okay, some people who are more flexible can do a little bit more of like a single side load, looks like this. Cool. If you're a little bit higher, man, you're just trying to breathe, pull the chest up and get a little bit more heavy through the arms so that you can slowly start to open up the hips over time, okay? So wherever you're at, patient, we've got a few more seconds in the butterfly. Breathing. Again, doing your best to relax, calm the mind here. Allow your nervous system to understand this is an okay position. It's not dangerous, it's not too aggressive. One more deep breath. Really nice. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit more of a moving position next. I want you sitting on the floor, something like this. You can elevate your bum on a pillow if you want to. Hands are gonna go behind the body. We're gonna do some rotations for the hip now. I want you pivoting on your heels and you're just going to gently bring the inside face of the leg, so thinking shin, knee, and uh, thigh, pulling that down and in, and then bringing the outside face of the leg down to the floor. We're gonna do a couple more reps. Nice. And what you will see here, if you're looking closely, is my hip, especially my other hip that I'm not moving, is not moving. So I'm really testing my active flexibility, mobility, with my target leg by not moving my torso or my hip with the movement. I'm isolating one side. Let's change sides. Softly bring the inside face down and in. Some of you, you might find a little tension on the inside of your knee, okay, ACL area. Be very gentle, okay? That usually stems from a lack of hip mobility. My hips can't go very far, so I'm gonna try and wrench through my knee. You gotta be very delicate if that's you. We're just going through a pain-free sensitive range, forwards and down, outwards and back. We'll do one or two more. Look how slowly I'm moving. I'm being gentle as I find my end range, okay? Not rushing that movement. Good, nice, legs are feeling really good, I think, especially hips, focus on hips today mainly. Okay, recall we did uh, that squat at the beginning of our session. Uh, squats take a lot of ankle mobility, so what I want you to do here now with me for 10 repetitions is I want you to try and what we call plantar flex, which is you're gonna try and point your, your toes as much as you can, try and really open up and feel a stretch through the top side of the shins and the ankles, and then I want you to pull your toes backwards and try and touch your shins with your toes. And reverse, point, point, point. Pull, we call this dorsiflexion, okay? Point, 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 feel that opening side stretch. And then dorsiflex, if you can, I also want you to splay your toes, okay? Widen them. And again, plantar flex, this should feel really, really good. Number two, pull backwards, try and decrease the angle between the top of your ankle and your shin. There are two more. Pointing, okay. Flexing backwards, knees are straight, fight any temptation to bend the knees. 
Last one, pointing, we're gonna hold for about eight, seven, six, five. You can choose how hard you wanna point. Four, three, two, one. And now, really trying to pull yourself into this active stretch. You should feel something now on the calf side, the underside of the legs, as you're trying to pull the toes down and towards the shins, holding for six, five, four, three, two, one. Really, really nice. Okay, we got one more thing, and then we're gonna retest our squat. I want to do a little, a little classic up dog to down dog. Just a few repetitions. Move slow, be patient. If you're brand new, you gotta be gentle. Uh, if you're a veteran with these, you can go pretty nuts. I'm gonna start in down dog, which looks like this. So, feet are flat. I'm gonna softly think about reaching my nose to my toes. Okay, and having straight arms as I push myself backwards to my toes. Adjust the feet as you need to, okay? We're gonna come to a plank, and then you're gonna drop your knees, and if able, your hips, and you're gonna bring your chest up nice and high. Don't squeeze your butt and be gentle here as much as you need to. Start to transition, plank, and then push back to your down dog. Think about reaching your hips up to the ceiling, keeping your heels as flat to the floor as you can, and pushing, reaching nose to toes. Good, transition one more time. Up dog, looks like so. I'm not shrugging, I'm not collapsing. I'm pushing up nice and high as best I can. And then toes on the floor. Bring the heels down, reach nose to toes. Three, two, one. I want you to look up at your hands, walk your hands forwards, Really nice. Okay, done a bunch of stuff for our legs and hips today, a little bit of ankle stuff. I want you to re-squat now, okay? Does it feel like, does it feel better? Does it feel the same? Does it feel worse? I hope not. So both an active squat, which is the act of going down and up, but now let's also do your resting squat, right? Like, what does that feel like? Does it feel a little bit more, a little more comfortable, a little more accessible? Maybe you're a little deeper than before, okay? And now just a few seconds, let's hang out here, okay? Enjoy this position, so many benefits here for ankles, hip, knee health, digestive health. Uh, I can't overstate the importance of owning and mastering the resting squat. If you're a human, you should be doing this. So that's our session for today. I will see you guys next time.